in C sharp. Enum is a value type data type. The enum is used to declare a list of named integer constants. It can be defined using the enum keyword directly inside the namespace, inside a class, or a structure. So let us define an enum inside our program class. For that, after the main method, we write enum week days. And then inside this enum, we write Monday, Tuesday, and the other days. So here we have all the days of the week. Now, if you hover over the Monday, you are going to see that the value is zero. Because if you do not define the number, it will start by default from zero. But if you want to change that, you can just write in here Monday is equal to one. And then you are going to see that the next day is going to have the value two, three, and Sunday has the value seven. If you want to see the value of an enum, Inside the main method, write console.writeLine and then in here write weekdays.friday, for example. Or if you want to see the value that the Friday itself has, like the 5 in this case or 4 in Thursday, you can just write console.writeLine And then instead of just displaying weekdays.thursday, you can convert this value to an integer by writing in front int. If you save the changes and run the application by pressing Ctrl F5, we're going to see the Friday and 4. And 4 comes from the weekdays.thursday. Now, enum is mainly used to make code more readable. So instead of writing the first day, the second day, etc., you can just write Monday, and then you can define that Monday stands as the first day of the week. So it basically makes the code more readable by giving related constants a meaningful name. You can do the same for the months. So instead of writing 1 to 12 or the month number, you can just write January for the first one, etc. It is also great when you want to test your code. But it is important to mention that the enum cannot be used with the string type. So in here I cannot write Monday is equal to 1 inside double quotes. Enum is an abstract class that includes static helper methods to work with enums. Some of the main methods are the getName, the getNames, and the tryPairs. The getName will simply return the name of the constant, and the getNames will return an array of string names. And then the tryPairs is going to convert the string presentation of the name or numeric value to an equivalent enumerated object. So let us see them all in action. Inside the name action, let us see the getName method. So for that, let us just write in here console.writeLine. So we are going to test the getName. We are going to test the getNames. And the try pairs. So for that we write try pairs. After the get name, let us write console dot write line. And then inside the console dot write line, write enum dot get name. And then as a parameter, we see that we need to pass the type of the enum type. So for that we just write type of weekdays and then as an object value we're going to say that get the fourth one so we write comma and then we define five as the object value let us do the same for the get names so 
Now let us test the get names. So for that, we need to create a for each loop. For that, we write for each. So for each string str in the enum dot get names and then we define the enum type so for that we write type of weekdays we want to display the value of the string so console dot write line and then just str so for that let us first define a variable of type weekdays so weekdays wd enum because the try pairs method will return a value which indicates whether the conversion succeeded or not now let's write enum dot try pairs let us define the type to be weekdays and then inside here define that I want to get the first one and I want to check if it's convertible to a weekday so I want to store this value to the WD or weekday enum and then next let us just display this value to the users for that you write console dot write line weekday enum so what this basically does in here checks for a value one in the weekdays enums and then if it exists it will convert it to the real weekday and then display it so in this case since monday has a value one it will check if it exists so in this case we have defined it to be one since we have already a one value in the weekdays it's going to return monday but to see the result, let us just press the Ctrl F5 buttons. So here we have Friday and 4. Then we have the get name displays Friday. And then the get names displays Monday, Tuesday, etc. Let us change the console.write to console.write line. So we have a better result. So change the second one to in line 14. And then save the changes. And run the application one more time by pressing Ctrl F5. So the get name is going to return Friday because we want to get the fifth day and then the get names is going to return all the values inside the weekdays enum so Monday to Sunday and the try pairs is going to return Monday because we have defined in here that we want to get the value 1. So guys, this is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.